What is good everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today I want to do a quick review over the new Halo Nexus Leopard 3. Let's get into it. So what even is this plastic blend? Well, it's Innova's premium plastic Halo, which is super durable, great in those driver molds, and it tends to stable up certain molds at least. And then it's blended with this Nexus plastic, which from my understanding is a step above DX plastic. It's a little bit more grippy. It's just as hard as DX plastic, and it is just a little bit more durable. So combine both of those together and you get Halo Nexus, which in my eyes, honestly, what you get is a grippy DX Leopard 3, which doesn't sound all that exciting. And to be honest with you, I wasn't all that thrilled with how this disc feels. Although I didn't know really what to expect because I never touched, or honestly, I never knew of Nexus plastic at all. So it seems the outer rim blue here is kind of the Nexus plastic. I say that because that's what feels the hardest and that's what feels most unlike Halo plastic. Then when you move into the flight plate, that's kind of when you get the Halo. Overall, once again, it just kind of feels like Grippy DX to me. It doesn't really feel like Halo, but the grippiness of this disc uh, is pretty nice. I think my main concern and only time will tell is that the outer rim here, since it is kind of that hard plastic, it does feel durable, but with how hard it is, I feel like when it hits a tree, it's more just gonna take a chunk out of it rather than kind of just bounce off and not do a whole lot of damage. Just like Halo plastic, it really doesn't chip that easily, but this feels like it could chip maybe a little bit more. Once again, time will tell. Now, with all of that being said, there are a couple of differences that I found with this Leopard 3 that are a little bit different than the other Leopard 3s that I have. One being the inner bottom rim here. Right here just seems to be a little bit sharper than my USDGC run and my Tour series run. I don't know why this is, but it seems like first off, the rim kind of divots more in, and then it just has this sharper um, inner ring here, which is a little bit weird. And then second, they came out just slightly more domey, at least more domey than my USDGC run which is what I bag. These are just two little differences that I saw between the ones that I bag and the Halo Nexus. So just wanted to point those out really quickly. Nothing really major. The last thing that I do want to mention before getting out to the field is that this disc is 176 grams. So that was the only option that I had when purchasing it. I don't know if I got to Disc Golf United too late where all the max weight already gone. I'm not sure if this is just what they come in for now, but just throwing that out there before I show you what we're comparing them to because the other Leopards will be max weight. So I just started out throwing all of my Leopard 3s just to kind of get a sense of which one is closest to the Halo Nexus. My biggest fear was that it's gonna be kind of unthrowable. First, it feels like DX, which I know it's Halo. And second, it's 167 grams. But with a tailwind, flew pretty well. Ultimately, I came to the conclusion that the neutral USDGC run was the closest to the Halo Nexus. So just did a quick comparison between the two. This is actually into a headwind. So you can see the USDGC one does flip up a little bit. And so does this Halo Nexus it does kind of drift a little bit more to the right in that headwind though. Going to the course, it always felt like the Halo Nexus did have a little bit of a fade. It was a pretty windy day in hole two, you can see how much it goes to the right. But every time I threw this disc on a hyzer, it did seem to want to flip up. I mean, just a few shots. They are low kind of burners, but every single time it kind of just flipped up to flat, which is super nice to have but it's not just like crazy understable like it feels like. Even on bigger shots, if I threw it on that hyzer, it really acted like a Halo Leopard, which really surprised me considering how light this disc is. When the wind was down, you can just tell how straight of a flyer it truly is. It really doesn't drift all that much to the right. It just kind of stays on the line that you put it on which that is exactly what I want out of a leopard. So there you have it. 
the Halo Nexus. And once again, I think a lot of my surprise, yes, it's Halo plastic. I figured that it would fly like a Halo Leopard, but I think a lot of the surprise that I have with it, just based off the feel of it and how light it is, it can still hang with my max weight Halo Leopard. My next question is, is Halo Nexus plastic going to be the juggernaut of Halo plastic? Because of how light this is and it was able to hang in with the Halo max weight Leopard 3, I'm just kind of wondering if this was max weight, would it be really overstable? I'm unsure. I don't know if weight really affects it that much, but you could definitely see this thing get tossed around a little bit in the wind. Anyway, guys, that is my little short review and comparison over the Halo Nexus Leopard 3. Let me know down in the comments if you ended up buying one of these and if you ended up liking it or not. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you on the next one.